All right, so if I go to slip my housing, made a little uh, little demo piece here. I'm gonna slip this into the barrel adjuster. It's gonna sit just like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and run my cable through. So once I run my cable through, gonna put it onto that pinch bolt. And the pinch bolt, you can either put the cable on top or on the bottom. When, it, when you're unsure, take this bolt all the way off, and you're gonna find a groove somewhere sitting in the metal. The groove is gonna give you the sign. That's where that cable's gonna sit. If you get this incorrect, uh, you might get a little shifting hiccup here and there. And this is the pinch bolt itself has a groove on it. So that's a, that's a groove. It's something you can feel with your nail. The cable's going to run on this side. And then you notice these little bends here. So this is going to go on in a very particular position. So it kind of helps you to orientate for that groove. So it, it's going to hug the cable in that groove rather than just smash it and want to make it fray. Here you'll see there's a way you can accidentally miss a routing on derailleurs. They all differ. All right, so once we got that hooked up, here's our housing. Housing's gonna come in. The housing's gonna get pretty much caught or pinched between your derailleur and then another portion on your frame, probably a cable, a cable stop or part of the housing stop. What that's doing is creating a, um, a support. So this is like a pipeline, but it's flexible. So sometimes it's hard to wrap your head around that. This is gonna keep tension. And then we have the cable coming through here. So when I go to shift, this cable's going to pull and I'm the anchor on this side, and then the derailleur's the anchor on this side. Uh, I will have to hold and brace, because it's the only way I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to do this, but as I pull, it should activate the derailleur, which means I'm going from the resting gear in gear nine, it's gonna click and go to eight, and then the derailleur's gonna start to expand. All right, so just doing a mock-up here. So this <clears throat> plier right here, that's gonna be your cable stop on your frame. This over here is the shifter. All right, here we go. So if I'm the shifter, if we're sitting in gear nine, I'm gonna, that's our last gear, I'm gonna go move a little bit, should go eight, start to activate the derailleur. So having this cable right here and then having this bracing from here and then here is gonna force the derailleur to start moving. And the cool thing about the derailleur is it starts to move, even though I'm pulling this direction, derailleur starts to move sideways. So it's gonna wanna expand this direction. So eight, seven, six, five, and I'll just go all the way for going maxing it out to one, boom, just like that. And then the spring is activated, so I'm holding pressure with this hand here. As soon as I release, that spring brings it down. So that's your downshifting. As soon as you tell the shifter, click, go to gear from one to two, the spring's gonna react, take that chain exactly where it needs to go. If it doesn't go there, say it goes there partially or it's making a little bit of noise, jingle, jingle, jingle noise, then you can fine tune it with the barrel adjuster, which is gonna increase cable tension or decrease cable tension, enable, allowing you to fine tune it. The quieter you get that in that gear, the better your adjustment, the longer it lasts too. Now this is a basically a screw. When I turn the screw clockwise, this piece right here goes inward. It's gonna go inset here, which is going to decrease cable tension, allowing the derailleur to go in its relaxed position, closer to your smaller, harder pedaling gears. If I go counterclockwise, and this does seem counterintuitive, but as I go backwards or I go lefty loosey counterclockwise, this inner sleeve is gonna back out this direction. And what it's gonna do is put pressure on the housing. And in turn, it's gonna force the cable to start to move. And the cable is connected to the derailleur from the shifter to the derailleur. The derailleur has the ability to flex and pivot. So because we're pulling tension on that cable, the derailleur is going to pivot, forcing it from sitting in whatever gear you're in, say we're in gear nine, and we go to apply tension, we go counterclockwise, it's going to want to move the derailleur and go to gear eight. If we keep going, it'll go to gear seven, and then eventually we'll just run out of screw thread, so it's not going to move too much, but it, it's definitely enough to fine tune your gearing. So if you go to shift and upshift, go want to go from nine to eight, and it doesn't move, we get one click at the shifter, but the derailleur didn't move the chain. So then we're going to go counterclockwise, increase cable tension, and then vice versa if we're having the opposite problem. Say we're in gear eight and we want to go to gear nine. I downshift one click, shifter goes to nine, but this didn't move. So I'm going to go clockwise, righty tighty. And I guess this sounds counterintuitive, but this inner sleeve will start to shrink and go inside, which is going to relieve tension, allow the cable to get slack then letting the derailleur relax and the spring is gonna help it relax and, and go into a more compact position, allowing the chain to go drop down into that gear.